they did not deserve what happened to them. This guy needs to be in jail for the rest of his life. A family trying to come to grips with the murder of their loved ones in Roselle. A mother and her young daughter killed in their home. And thank you for joining us. I'm Tina Redwine. I'm Kurt Siegel, and we continue to follow that breaking news into the investigation of a double murder at the Roselle home where a mother and daughter were found dead. News 12 New Jersey's Kimberly Kravitz is live now at the scene with new information in the case. Kimberly, what can you tell us? Yes, good afternoon, Kurt and Tina. The Union County Prosecutor's Office has confirmed that they are investigating this double homicide, and it is just a gruesome scene here. The home is located at 7th Avenue and Pine Street. Relatives identify the victims as a mother and a nine-year-old daughter. And you can see here most of this block is roped off as officials continue to investigate into the death. Our Lauren Dew spoke earlier today to Atasha Scott, the sister of the homeowner. Now, she claims that the girl's uncle, the homeowner's brother, who had been ordered to leave the home, killed his niece and sister-in-law with an axe, and that the homeowner found both dead when he got home from work on Wednesday. What happened was my nieces went downstairs after they woke up in the afternoon, and they went into her room, and they, they saw stuff in the room. And they called my brother and said they can't open their mother's room door. They tried to open up her room door and it was locked. And there was a comforter at the bottom of the, of the door and they couldn't do, open the door. Kelsey, she's my only niece. She's my daughter's best friend. They're both five months apart. Keisha and I are five months apart. Kelsey's birthday is supposed to be on Wednesday, I mean on Sunday. Now, police have not confirmed any of this information. The Morrisons are described as a blended family of four children, two daughters in their 20s, one son in their 20s, and the one daughter passed before celebrating her 10th birthday. There is a meal train page set up for the Morrison family for anybody interested in donating, and the prosecutor's office is set to send out more information on this tragic case this afternoon, and we will be sure to bring that information to you as it unfolds. For now, we're live in Roselle. Kimberly Kravitz. News 12, New Jersey. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 25, and it reads this. But the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Koholayim la, albanawa, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakradash double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. First Peter chapter 1 verse 25 and it reads this, but the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. And we're going to go into what the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are. Because when you go into the 501c3 slave plantation uh, 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 Christian doctrine, it tells you that the Most High is all about love. Love, love, hersey kisses, and hugs. Okay? Well, the Most High is also a power of vengeance, a power of judgment, a, 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 a what is a, 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 a demon-like power, as they say, a, a Shia, if I'm saying it correctly, if I'm not, forgive me. But the Most High brings forth judgment upon the earth, good and evil. And the Lord is, you know, punishing our people left and right for forsaking him, man, for all the transgressions and the iniqui iniquities that they have uh, uh, brought forth, man. OK, nobody perishes being innocent. OK, and the Lord is showing you that, man. He's not having no respect of persons, no compassion, no sympathy. OK, no pity. None of that, man. OK, so we're going to get the words that, that that's being preached to you right now, man, because we're the ones that's warning you to uh, flee from death. And how do you do that? You come back to the Lord. You take heed to what he told us to do, man. You, 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 you be retaught in your mind. You retransform your spirit. Okay, you don't walk in the flesh, you walk in the spirit. And then just to prove what I'm saying is true, 
Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. And we're going to prove it through a lot of precepts, but this is, this is the beginning right here. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, starting off at verse 7, and it reads this. And thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are most rebellious, and our people are very hard-headed. Okay, and what's that sin in the world? A hard head make a soft ass. Our people don't want to seek the Lord and actually uh, uh, acknowledge Him until He brings hell upon them. And then as soon as He, as soon as Yahweh Shem Yahweh gets them out of that hell, they go back to being wicked, man. Verse eight. But thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not, okay, be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house, and that's the house of Israel, okay, roughly two, two thirds of our people, man, are going to be destroyed because they're rebellious, they're hard headed, stiff necked, man. They want to uh, uh, live life uh, uh, their own way, they want to create and make their own path, okay. Open thy mouth, which we do. And eat that I give thee. And that's this role. That's these scriptures. Okay, that's the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, which is in the Old Testament, and the New Testament. Eat the whole roll and accept everything that comes with it. Don't try to don't try to twist and turn scriptures to your liking because you, you can't receive what the Lord is saying, what he's bringing forth. You know, that goes to Isaiah 55, verses 8 on down, man. Okay, our thoughts are not the most highest thoughts, man. Verse 9. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was written therein. And that's these scriptures, man. Verse 10. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations. And as you see, man, this is a lamentation for this family, for the mother and daughter being put to death by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, regardless of how he had it done. All judgment, all all are issues of death. Psalm 68, verse 20, belong to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Okay, and, and believe it or not, this appeased the Most High, man. Okay, uh, Ecclesiasticus, uh, I want to say uh, chapter 39 or, or, or uh, 28. Okay, uh, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. Lament, lamentations and mourning and woe, okay? Lamentations and mourning and woe, okay? So the Bible and the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's words are not all sweet, okay? The Lord is a jealous power, okay? You don't want to be on the bad side of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Matter of fact, let's read it in the Good News Translation because I like how, like how that's written out. Okay, this is the same book, Ezekiel chapter 2, starting off at verse 7 in the Good News Translation. You will tell them whether I, so like you will tell them whatever I tell you to say, whether they listen or not. Remember what rebels they are. Mortal man, listen to what I tell you. Don't be rebellious like them. Open your mouth and eat what I am going to give you. And we eat this word. Okay, this is our real meal. Okay, you know, the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah are pure, are pure seven times uh, uh, in, the, in, in the furnace of earth, man. Uh, roughly paraphrasing Psalms uh, chapter 12, verse 6, I want to say. Continuing on, verse 9. I saw a hand reaching out towards me, and it was holding a scroll. The hand unrolled the scroll, and I saw that there was written, so like, and I saw that there was writing on both sides. Cry, cries of grief, okay? Cries of grief were written therein and wails and groans. So the Lord is not all sweet, man. And it's the Lord bringing forth this death, this judgment, man. But you know, Jake don't want to take heed. Jake wants to be a producer, a rapper, a fake thug, okay? He wants to be a, 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 a TikTok sensation, a YouTube a sensation, a, a podcast, all that, a, 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 a king, a kingpin drug dealer, a, a, a rapper, an actor. He wants to be everything else but besides what the Lord told him to be, man. Okay. But let's continue, man. Because again, man, the Lord's not going to show no compassion on, on nobody, man. He don't give a damn if you're, if you're six months just coming out the womb, one, two, 25, 75, the Lord don't give a damn, man. Judgment is going to go forth regardless if you like it or not. 
And we keep on warning y'all, but y'all don't want to listen, man. It, it, the, the judgment is right at your doorstep in your immediate family. And you still want to be a nigga in the world, man. You still don't want to say, hey, maybe the Lord is trying to give me a sign that I might be next. Maybe how about Shem Yahweh Shah trying to show me something. But you but you still you, you still going to be and want to be a nigga in the streets, man. Acts chapter 10, starting off at verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth, I perceive that the most high is no respecter of persons. Okay? Period, man. But in every nation, in all 12 tribes are a nation. Let's make that clear. Every tribe is a nation. Okay, why do you think it says in the scriptures that we are as the stars of the heaven, as the sand of the sea? Okay, we cannot be measured nor numbered. Okay, Jake, get your head out your ass, man. Take heed. Take heed. A, a sister sent me this, man. But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. And what is that righteousness? What is the first step? Repenting. What is the next step? Fearing the Lord. What is the next step? Uh, 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 forsaking uh, uh, this life. Forsaking your flesh. Studying. Okay? Coming back to your uh, your nationality, man. Okay? And, and it's other steps too, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into those other steps for uh, time's sake. But that's, you know, those, those are some steps that you can take heed to. Let's get this though. So I don't want this to be too, too long. I want to get directly to the point. But how, however, the, however the spirit have this go, it has it go. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. So this is the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15, starting off at verse 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek Yahweh power of their fathers with all their heart, which is your mind, and with all their soul. Okay, your spirit. And that's what the, the, the true, the true, sincere, hopeful elect is going to do. OK, and again, we're not going to twist scriptures to our liking. We're not going to be uh, 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 offended in certain things that we first read. No, we're going to take heed to it and accept it again. Isaiah 55 verse eight on down. OK, our thoughts are not the Lord's thoughts. And you got to figure, man, we have been. Uh, 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 raised and fashioned in a polluted, corruptible uh, uh, captivity, man. Where you have the fucking wicked telling you what the, the Lord's ways is wrong, but his ways are right. And a lot of you jakes, man, you still have the wicked ways in your spirit. You don't have the ways of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, nor the understanding of what he's been trying to uh, uh, give you. Okay? Verse 13. That whosoever would not seek Yahweh power of their father, Yahweh power of Israel, should be put to death. Do you hear that? Because everybody's not seeking Yahweh. Why Yahweh shall? Let me read that again. Second Chronicles fifteen verse thirteen. That whosoever would not seek Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man. or or woman. Did you hear that? Whether small, child, infant, or great, adult, old person, whether man or woman, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is done. Playtime has been over. Either you're going to get right or you're going to get judged, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay, we have a hedge. We have a, a protection. We have the Lord showing us that he's with us, man. Matter of fact, let's grab this, man. Okay, this is all out judgment, man. All out judgment, man. I know, you know, if the people that 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 that's in the area see this, man, they probably gonna feel some way about it. But guess what? I don't give a fuck. You got a problem with it? Take it up with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If you got a problem with it, take it up with Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is your warning from the Lord, man. This is your warning from the Lord, man. If you know if you know these people and, and, and you grew up with these people, whatever the case may be, this is your warning from the Lord, man. You might be next, man. So I, 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 I invite you to say something stupid, to mark yourself, to let the Lord know that you don't give a damn what he's doing and you want to be next, man. Second Peter chapter two, verse nine. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation 
So were these people godly? Were these people following Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? Were they coming back to their heritage, their nationality? Were they forsaking this world? Obviously, no. And to reserve, which the Lord did, the unjust, okay? Because again, Job chapter 4, verse 7, uh, uh, who perishes being innocent? And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. And that's what you're seeing right here. You're seeing the unjust of our nation, of our people, that was reserved for the day of judgment to be punished, man. Okay? And again, man, you know, I'm, you know, I can only speak for me. Me, myself, I'm not, you know, sitting right here applauding it. It is what it is, man, you know. But hey, man, I, we fear the Lord, man. We, and we know what's being done. Matter of fact, let me shut up and read this, man. Because I don't have to explain or sympathize or anything else, man. You you want you want that? You got to go ask the Lord for that, man. Because he he he's the one that controls all all things. He he's, he's sending out the orders. Okay, this is Ezekiel chapter nine, starting off at verse four. And Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is a people before a place. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of And who was that? That's the prophets, first and foremost, the apostles. OK, first and foremost, the men out here sacrificing their bodies and the people that listen to the teachings and, and, and that are actually coming back seeking the Lord. Man, those are the ones that's that's vexed with the filthy conversations and the doings of the wicked, man. OK, not just of the heathen, but of our people, too, man. Those are the ones that's going to have that mark of exemption. OK, verse five. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city. And smite, okay, strike, kill, put to death. Let not your eyes spare. Don't have no damn pity on nobody. I don't give a damn if they one day old. I don't care if they one year old, two year old, six, 15, 75, 45. I don't give a damn. But go out and do my orders. That's what the Lord is saying, man. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children. Hold up. Did you hear that? Didn't a little nine-year-old girl get put to death by the Lord? Let me read that again from the top. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 6. Slay utterly, old, an older, an older Israelite woman, and young, a young child, both maids and little children and women. It makes it clear again. But come not near any man. And this is another another set of precepts to prove that you women need a man for covering in the days of Jacob's trouble. The Lord is dealing with men. Not that that not that evil, wicked bitch, Deborah, that's talking about the, the, the black woman, which nobody's damn black, only brings forth the chosen seed. And you rebellious women and you soft, effeminate niggas, may the Lord destroy you, man. It's vexing, man. Everything about this place is vexing. You, do you think, do you literally think the heathen just vexes us? No, you you wicked, crooked, perverse Israelites vex us too, man. Salakia. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark of exemption. And began at my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay? Period, man. Self-explanatory, man. Okay, so if you're not out here signing crime for the for the abominations, if you're not following the Lord, okay, repenting, studying, taking heed to uh, 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 what's being brought forth. Okay, cleaving to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, seeking him more and more every day, exalting his name more and more every day. Praying for every little thing, being thankful for every little thing. Praying before you 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 uh, 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 move in your chariot, which is your car. Being thankful when you get to your destination. Being thankful when you wake up. Asking the Lord to let you see another day before you go to sleep, etc. Man, need need I say more, man? Let's go here real quick, man. This is the book of First Peter, chapter three, verse twelve, and it reads this. For the eyes of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, 
are over the righteous. And these people were not righteous. These people were not coming back to the Lord. Okay, I'm pretty sure they worship Cesare Borgia, a.k.a. Sweet Jeebus Cross. Okay, which which means, which really means you're worshiping Esau. Okay, the Hebrew Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white cave gorilla. For the eyes of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayer. So the Lord is hearing the ones that are attempting to uh, follow that righteous instruction, are the, the ones that are being obedient as they can in this wicked, corruptible flesh. Continuing on, but the face of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, is against, is against them that do evil. And again, you're, they didn't deserve this. How do you know? Are, are, are you Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah? How do you know, nigga woman? How do you know they didn't, they didn't deserve this? Do you know what they've done in their past lives and this now? Do you know what this woman was doing behind closed doors and everything else? No. Only Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah no, truly knows everything our people have done in their prior lives and in this life, man. Nobody perishes being innocent. But the face of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is against them that do evil. Point blank period, man. Because our people have the mindset of the Edomites, man. They believe that, you know, your, your status in this world, your monetary gain, okay, uh, 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 what, you, what you gave for charity, stuff like that, you know, that, they, that they've learned from the philosophy and the, rud the rudiments of this world, which was given to us by Esau, they believe that that will uh, give you uh, protection and, uh, and a pass into the gates and, and protection from the Lord. Okay, they believe in the, 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 the rich mindset that you must do this, you must do that to be favored by the Lord. Nah, what does it say in uh, 1 Samuel 15? Let's read that real quick because that's something that our people don't do. That's something that our people don't do. Let's grab that real quick. And that's the spirit that, that, that that's being spoken of right now. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, <clears throat> Con, this is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15. I'm going to go directly to the point. And Samuel said, Have Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, behold, is to obey is better than sacrifice. And the type of sacrifice that our people do, like again, like I said, charity, giving them ties to the church, you know, uh, feeling like they're doing this and doing that. No, man, you know, profiting off of riches, monetary gain, status in this uh, captivity. They believe that's, that's going to save them and give them favor with the Lord, man. Now, let's grab this. It's the book of Proverbs 11, verse 4, and it reads this. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start off verse 3. The integrity of the upright shall guide them. And that's the, the prophets that the Lord have set up right now. We're here to give you the instructions to guide you to a, a, a path away from death, to keep you in the light. And to take you out of darkness. And again, the Lord, the Lord is using us as the vessels to do that. Because we don't have the power to do that. The Lord's using us to do that so you can hear his voice through us. Okay? The integrity of the upright shall guide them. But the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. And their day of wrath came. But righteousness, if they were seeking it. Deliver from death. And what's the, what's seeking the righteous, man? Seeking the Lord. Seeking what the Lord told us to do. How to be. Repent. Not to be lovers of this world. Not to uh, lust after the flesh, etc. Man, A lot of stuff I can just name for days, man. But we're going to close out and leave it right here. <clears throat> Let's get this. <clears throat> it's lucky. Let's get this last scripture and we'll close out. Okay. Salakia, bear with me. Bear with me one second. Oh man. Circuit. K. 
Okay, it's the book of Luke 21, starting off at verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, least at any times your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. Okay, and take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. Let's look up that word surfeiting real quick. Surfeit. Okay, surfeit. Give me one second. I'm going to go to the etymology online. Surfeit. Surf it, and it says excess quantity, over indul indulgence, excess arrogance, um, overdoing. Okay, uh, where is that? Um, indulge excessively uh, to surfeiting. Okay, so excess quantity. Um, Overindulge, overindulgence, Salakia, excess arrogance uh, to make to do. Okay, Luke 24, 21, verse 34. Salakia, Luke 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, okay, of this world, of this wicked uh, queendom, man. Okay, you know, because our people are soaking up the pollution and the wickedness and the evils of this world and 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 taking heed to the customs and 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 and, and uh, applying their hands to commit those acts okay with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and this life in this world is wicked it leads you to death okay and so that that day come upon you unawares and what is that day judgment okay judgment Okay, and you see some of these people are getting judgment right now, but the Lord is preserving some of our some of our people to go through Jacob's trouble to, to, to suffer. And some of our people are going to be preserved for uh, those missiles too. Verse 35, for as a snare, okay, a trap, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Okay, not just our people, but everybody, man. But we're focused on our people, man, because, you know, we already know that Esau and other heathens are going to get their judgment. And you know, Yahabashin Al Shah gonna, gonna let us play, he's gonna let us have fun. But this main message is for you, you uh you uh Israelites, man, for the ones that the Lord want. Okay. So hey man, at the end of the day, man, nobody perishes being innocent. You know, this is the Lord showing y'all, you know. I've had people in my family, close, close, uh, close to my family that have passed away that I know. And the Lord, you know, he he does stuff like this to keep us in check. And also to warn you other Israelites that was once in the truth and want to go back into the world and be niggas, you know, and everything else, man. Hey, man, either you take heed or, or you're going to be next, man. So, man, I hope and I pray that this is edifying, informative, and, and uplifting to the true sincere. Akim wa akwaf. Koholayim la, abanawa, wa, fawada, yahawa, bahashim, yahawashai, bahashim, rakakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. So with that, I'm just going to say Shabbat Shalom.